down here. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm the community manager at My Could Studio Mates. Today I'd like to show you my process of getting to know Photoshop on the iPad. So I've got my iPad Pro open right now, and I've got my Apple Pencil. And today I think I'm going to draw something with a drink label. So first let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. So I've got my Adobe apps here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Photoshop and here we go. If you already have other Adobe apps on your iPad or your device, probably this will work pretty smoothly for you. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and make a new document, create new, and as you can see it's pretty similar to any other Adobe apps or previous Photoshop versions. I've been using Photoshop since, what, probably 1998. <laughs> as a kid I remember using it on my parents' computer and uh, yeah, it's, it, feel, it feels like the UI hasn't changed like that much over the years, so the iPad just makes it easier for drawing. I, I prefer having a direct interface that I'm drawing onto. Um, it tends to work better for me, but I have made Wacom tablets work as well. Um, I've just noticed the quality usually comes out better. Like, for example, when I use Procreate, which is one of my favorite apps right now for drawing on the iPad. So, all right. That's my little backstory, let's get started. I'm gonna do a wallpaper size for the iPad I'm using right now, which is the 10.5 inch. So now it's gonna save it directly to my cloud, my Creative Cloud, because of course you're gonna need Creative Cloud in order to use the software. Um, it's part of the plan that I pay for because I get the basic photography plan even though I'm not really doing photography as a main thing right now. Um, that's, I believe, the still the lowest tier as of June 2020. So we've got our little canvas here. And, all right, so I wanna draw one of my favorite drinks right now, well, for the last like six months. Uh, there's this drink you can get in Japan called Boss Coffee. And the original one comes in like an aluminum can and it's okay. I never really thought much of it. Um, Cause I, I wasn't really a coffee drinker till college and it was more out of necessity than like whether I liked it or not. So <laughs> I guess in the last six months or so, I really started to like this latte that Boss Coffee put out and I like the design of the label as well. I actually have one right here that I already drank. I was going to keep it so that I could um, show it to you, but I got ahead of myself. As you can see, it is empty. Um, but I'll go ahead and put a picture up on the screen now um, so you can see what it's supposed to look like when it's full. And of course, you can get this pretty much anywhere in Japan. Most vending machines have this because um, it's a really popular product throughout Japan. Just any store you go to, like a uh, grocery store or convenience stores will have it. It's a really common coffee product you can get here in Japan and I would like to draw it today. So first thing I'm gonna do is make the shape of the bottle. So as you can see the bottle here, it's, you know, got a kind of rectangular shape here and then it tapers off into the top and I took the cap off but I mean I'm just a plastic white cap. I do want a brush so I guess I'll pick maybe my brush pen because I like using brush pens for traditional. I mean I have tons of them over here so I guess I'll go for a brush pen. I feel like there's definitely a way to set the um sensitivity of your Apple Pencil when you're using this, but I haven't really looked into that yet. Um, so I'm just going completely uh, experimental here. <laughs> uh, so bear with me on that. So I'm just gonna start with a basic shape here. Okay, so that's a basic shape of what we're working on here. I'm just gonna add a couple little lines here to show that. Mm -hmm. Very simple. So we got a bottle. It's easy enough. There's also some little indents. I don't know. It's pretty hard to see on the bottle I have since there's no liquid inside of it. But there's some embossing. Emboss. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, maybe I can try drawing that and see how it goes. It looks like right in front we have the boss embossment. 
Uh, if we're doing a drinking game, you're gonna lose if you are choosing boss. It's also a little bit difficult because I did wash this out, so there's like little water blotches that are kind of in the way. And then, of course, you got the label itself. So we're gonna focus on the label now. I sometimes put a bit too much pressure on the Apple Pencil and that's why I tend to wear out the tips pretty quickly sometimes. It's not great because tips are not cheap. First we have this round circular bit which is in a cream color so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer again next we have the label and now we need a cream color basically we've got a line, a very thick line coming down here on the bottom. I'm going to try and make that a little more smooth. And there's a line in the middle as well that goes in between the text. And then there's the guy himself. So I'm going to kind of go for the, the little shape of that. So we might want to zoom in on him. So that's kind of his general shape. I mean, we're going to fix that later, but for now I'm going with the colors first and then we are going to continue on with the details. So, all right, I'm going to make this even smaller now because now we got to do some writing. So we got the craft boss going over the top here. Katakana down here that says craft boss. And then we also have another boss up here. Probably the next thing I'm going to do just to make it easier for everyone, including myself, is to go ahead and make another layer, throw it underneath where I can put the actual coffee, kind of fill it in so it's a lot easier to see what's going on on the label itself. Exactly go as planned because I wanted this to be more seamless. So I'm just gonna color right over the top of that. So then I'm gonna actually move that all the way down to the bottom so that it's showing all of our details over the top. And maybe I can even go ahead and do a little bit of erasing around the edges here to kind of clean it up. double tapping on the iPad to undo. It was working a moment ago, but now it's... Ah! Okay, well, it crashed Photoshop! <laughs> Awkward! Okay, so let's come back in here. We've got our general shapes. I have to clean things up again, apparently, but um, other than that, I mean, we can also, maybe, we can adjust this to where we have a different blend mode. more like a label if it's if it's a little bit transparent so sometimes if you're if you're doing something with a lot of um, details you might struggle not being able to see which layer is which like this coffee label you can hardly tell what's in that layer so we got our coffee label we got our basic text going on here so I'm gonna continue on that oh, well I also lost my color so basically you click on the the color wheel here and then use the eyedropper like you would on the PC um, so there we go. Now we have our color again, so we can continue on what we were doing, which is basically working on the text itself. I won't 
have any more weird errors pop up in the middle of this because that seems to keep happening. Okay, that's super weird. What did I do there? Why do I have this? I must have done something by accident and now I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of it. One eternity later. Delete mask. Huh, finally. Okay. Yeah, so I'm sure that there's a much better way to do things with masks, but I'm just not that familiar. So we're just not going to deal with that today. just because I'm working in a new color and I might want to adjust. Then we gotta do the coffee beans too. grab onto these and move them. Oh, it does work that way. Okay. That's not exactly what I was going for. I just wanted to move these, but sure. I wonder if there's a way to add shadows like you would in the original Photoshop. Yeah! A lot of stuff in here that I'm not super familiar with, but it does work similar to, similarly to Fresco. Um, Fresco, Adobe Fresco is another Adobe drawing program you can use if um, you're interested in doing more digital art and it works on both mobile devices and PC I believe at this point. That's another option if you want to try something different. That one ha has more painting options. Um, I feel like this one's a bit more limited compared but I think you can add more if you want as well. I don't think there's a limit. But it does feel a little bit pared down in comparison to the PC version. So anyways, I'm just going to do a little bit of detailing on these beans. I'll sketch it out. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just switch over. So you just swipe with your finger, swipe down to change the color. And then let's see, where do we got? We have a little bit of shine up here. Okay, so now it kind of looks like beans, doesn't it? depth. Everything else is very flat and kind of vectorized, so all those things seem to be pretty decently. Um, we'll com combine these together and then combine into the copy label merge. Okay, so now we have our copy label and it's all these pieces I just did together. So now I'm going to do one more layer again over the top just because I'm meticulous like that. And um, I'm going to go back to our trusty hard round brush and we're going to try to fill in this um, guy's hair and stuff. be able to adjust the how do you say like I can rotate it 
not only I can rotate it while zooming that doesn't seem to work on this which is a bit annoying because um, I can do that in procreate no problem <laughs> It's still not right, obviously, um, and of course if you're going to compare and contrast, but I mean, I'm just trying to kind of get it to look similar. quite there. The perspective is not correct. Um, you know, we could go into all sorts of stuff on that, but uh, eh, it kind of looks like the dude. Kind of. For just a simple sketch like this, I'm not going to be too picky about it. I'd like to move it if I can. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. So now it's closer to the top. I don't want to move the whole thing, I just want to move what I'm holding on to here. Or I could just stretch it, I guess. That's also- that also works. Yeah, that works. Alright, done. I just wanted it a bit higher up. So... She... He... Cool. Ku... Which um, means it's kind of a light, has a light depth to it. I don't know. There's probably a word for coffee that makes more sense, but yasashi is like not so heavy. It's, it can mean different things, but in this context, it's not so strong. It's not black coffee, which makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> what I'm going for here and I might just add a couple little details sometimes when you buy it at the store it is kind of creamy on the top for a different color. I think I'm gonna go for a purple shadow. Try some different blending modes and see how that looks. So basically this is where I'm at. Um, this is my favorite drink of the moment, Craft Boss Latte Coffee, um, that you can get at any store in Japan, pretty much. I love it, so I would totally recommend it, and, um, anyways, I will finish this up on my own, add a couple little last details perhaps, but you could basically get an idea of how Photoshop works on iPad. Um, I hope that it helped you understand a little bit of how it works while watching me make this little drawing and um, maybe it will help you decide what kind of software you'd like to try using or whether you'd even like to invest in an iPad 
because it is a pretty expensive thing to invest in. Um, if you haven't tried using Photoshop before and you are low on cash, I would definitely recommend trying out a Wacom tablet. Um, that's what I started out with before I got my iPad and it wasn't the easiest for me to use, but it does work and it's a good start. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, hope to see you in studio mates. Thanks for watching. Bye.